Okay, this is just a quick screencast for the new iPhone application, iVolleyStats. This is a quick handheld way to keep complete statistical information for your volleyball game. Uh, we start with uh, just the obvious here. Here in the middle, you've got an info screen. This will get you to complete explanation for all the stuff that's going on, particularly on this rally ending screen here. On this main screen, pretty much everything is happening. Across the top here, you've got all of your current players and their position on the court. The little greater or less than symbol here indicates uh, current server. You would highlight an individual player to indicate their particular stat. So if number four has a kill on the first one, etc. But before that, of course, we're going to set up some stuff about the game. So here's our opponent. We're just going to go ahead and indicate that we're currently playing Poway, local school here. You can see the upper right hand arrow here tells us, the upper left hand white arrow tells us we can still change that. If they've got serve, we can indicate that it's their serve first, and you can see some of the buttons change here depending on who's got serve. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put in our current lineup here. Um, since you know one through seven is not my jersey numbers, my typical uh, girls off my team are these jersey numbers. I'll just go ahead and put them in. 13, and uh, Rachel follows her, then there, and then here, and finally my libero. Okay, so one of the neat things it does here is when I put those players in, if I didn't already have them in my roster listing, it actually went ahead and added them. So you can see here in our roster area too, we've got default areas on the court. Any substitutions we do before the game starts, obviously we uh, doesn't count against our sub, uh, our subs that are in here. So again, the lineup button allows us to actually put in lineups by jersey number. We can spin our rotation if we're going to rotate it one forward kind of thing. Every time I click it, it moves it forward. And pretty obvious. Okay, so now our in-game stats here as we're going through a game. Let's say um, you know our first server goes back and we get an ace right off the bat. And you can see down here in this area we're actually indicating the last couple of actions that have happened. So number 20 here served an ace. So even though I had 15 selected, um, obviously it knows that our current server was jersey number 20. She served for an ace. And it updates our current score. The uh, upper left hand white arrow here indicates that if we click on this, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. All right, so we're going to get started a new game. Of course, we just started doing this game, so we're going to leave it alone. And you'll also notice that the upper left hand arrow here off our serve is now gone because you know it's going to track who's serving now. I can't change that. Okay, so let's just say um, we come back here and uh, number. Our current front row would be, of course, the next three kids in front of our current server. So 15 goes up and she gets a kill. Okay, so now we've got two zero for us. The zero out here indicates how many subs are left. You can see the last couple actions down here. Any buttons that are written with white text require a person to be selected or a player to be selected. Any of them with the dark gray text um, either don't affect the point, as in these three down here, attack, attempt, block, assist, and dig, they don't actually generate a point, or they don't require a player to be selected. Ace and service error, general error, and opponent error. In, as an overall kind of rule of thumb, everything here on the left-hand side are points that are going to are buttons that are going to generate points for our team. Everything on the right-hand side and in this other color are points that are going to generate for the other team. Um, okay, so let's say we have a service error and then we come back and you know number 16 now gets a kill. You can see the last couple things update here obviously. Now it also moved our current server over. Right? So one of the things now when we flip to our team stats, you'll see all the individual stats as well as the totals, aces and our errors, our service errors. We've actually attempt serving three times. We've had two kills, two attacks for 100%. We also get um, kind of our service strength our aces to errors or our aces to net. Uh, there's our number of kills to errors, our rotational strength, as well as some basic stuff to report to the paper. Um, your typical media stats, who had kills and how many, uh, who had aces and how many, how many blocks. This continues to update the entire time you're selecting things, obviously. So if we say, you know, now number 15 had a blocking error, um, number 17 had a serve receive error, um, number 15 gets a kill. Now we're back with 13 serving. She gets an ace. You can see as we continue to go through there, those are just updated the entire time. Uh, 
Well, I think that's going to about do it here for our short little screencast on the information on this. Don't forget, again, click on the info button anytime you need to uh, get explanations for what's going on on this screen. Anytime you make a mistake, you do an undo, it just removes the last action. And if you have any questions, don't forget to email us at jay at vanvark.net. Thanks for tuning in.